Hey, good morning, my friends. Derek here from Bomb Socks with another week of Bomb Bites, where we feast upon the words of Christ one bite at a time. Okay, friends, we are getting into 2 Nephi chapter 26 through 30, and there's a lot of great stuff for this week. But I want to start off with really just one kind of brief concept today that for me, I always go back to this whenever I have questions about the gospel, or there are things that I don't fully understand, maybe why God does things a certain way. Now, whether that is doctrinally, whether it is procedurally, whether it is historically, or whether even if it's deeply personal, there are things that God does or things that I see that I don't fully understand. Wonderful concept in chapter 26 that I think answers 90 to even 100% of those questions for me. Verses 23, 24, and 25. 23 first, For behold, my beloved brethren, this is Nephi speaking, I say unto you that the Lord God worketh not in darkness. That even of itself is a great way to start off. It's like God does not do things in the dark. He does things through light. He doeth not anything, save it be for the benefit of the world. For he loveth the world, even that he layeth down his own life, that he may draw all men unto him. Wherefore he commandeth none, that they shall not partake of his salvation. Behold, doth he cry unto any, saying, Depart from me? Behold, I say unto you, Nay. But he saith, Come unto me, all ye ends of the earth, buy milk and honey, without money and without price. Meaning, look, everybody has that opportunity to be able to come unto Jesus Christ, but as we understand also that he does not do anything, save it be for the benefit of the world. And like I said, there's questions out there that we don't fully get. Maybe there's something happened in the Old Testament that you're just like, this, I, I don't get this. Or something that happened in church history that maybe we don't have a full understanding of or that we just don't get. I think it's very dangerous to take little isolated incidents and just kind of put them aside and not put them back into the whole plan of salvation. Understanding that God does not do anything, save it be for the benefit of his children. Now, to me, this is another incident very similar back to 1 Nephi chapter 11, where Nephi is having his wonderful panoramic vision of what his father saw as he approaches. He's like, I want to see what my dad saw. And he sees everything. And he probably sees a lot of things that he does not understand. In fact, he sees what is called the condescension of God back in 1 Nephi 11. And the angel says, Nephi, knowest thou the condescension of God? And Nephi's like, I don't. I don't really understand what that means. But his response in verse number 17, back in 1 Nephi 11 is so classic and it's one that I've connected to these verses in 2 Nephi 26. And I said unto him, I know that he loveth his children. Nevertheless, I do not know the meaning of all things. Nephi's like, I know that he loves his children. Just like this in verse 24, he doeth not anything save it be for the benefit of the world. For he loveth the world. In fact, you click on the word loveth there and it takes you over to the most wonderful, well-known Christian scriptures, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And so for me, again, when I have questions about the gospel, Historically, procedurally, doctrinally, personally, I go back to what I know, and I know that God loves his children, and he does not do anything save it be for the benefit of his children, because he loves them. It's that verse in the Old Testament in Isaiah 55, where he says, My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my thoughts than your thoughts, and my ways than your ways. So anyway, just a little message to start us off this week to help you always remember that God does not do anything save it be for the benefit of his children. And for me, again, that answers the majority of the questions that I have as I go back to what I know and I don't take that isolated there. I put it into the plan of salvation and it helps me appreciate who my heavenly father is and why he does what he does. I love this message and I know that it's true. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing and thank you for sharing these messages. We are so grateful as always that you do that. If you like what you see, please click that like button. It gets our message out there. And of course, you got to go check out our amazingly comfortable gospel theme socks at bombsocks.com. You guys have an amazing day and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.